Let's balance the net ionic equation for MgOH2 plus HF. This is magnesium hydroxide. This is hydrofluoric acid. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see there's one fluorine here and two here. I'm going to put a two in front of the HF. Now I have two hydrogens here, and then I have two times the one, two hydrogens here. So four total hydrogens. Let's put a two here, balances the hydrogens. I have two oxygens, two times one. That gives me two oxygens on both sides and I have magnesium, magnesium. That's the balanced molecular equation. Bit of work there. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Magnesium hydroxide is insoluble. Very little bit will dissolve. So that's going to be a solid. HF, that's considered a weak acid, but it still dissolves. It's aqueous. It just doesn't dissociate much. Magnesium fluoride is insoluble. It's a solid. And then we have water, a liquid. Now we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. We don't split solids apart. And this HF is a weak electrolyte. It's a weak acid. We're not going to split that apart. Another solid we won't split apart. So really, when you look at the equation here, this is also the balanced net ionic equation because we can't split the magnesium hydroxide apart or the magnesium fluoride since those are solids. This is a weak electrolyte. We don't split that apart. And in net ionic equations, we don't split liquids apart either. So we're done. This is the balanced net ionic equation for MgOH2 plus HF. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.